we're at February 11th, 2022, on the way to Hollywood, California, uh, for Stephen Pierce's show tonight at the world famous Whiskey A Go Go. I'm in Las Vegas right now, on my way uh, to the airport. So we'll see you soon. Just All right, I made it to Burbank. It's a little before 2 p.m. Sound check is at 3 p.m. So for once, everything uh, went well. Now, it is 87 degrees here in Burbank. And it is February 11th, 87 degrees. And I'm wearing a full leather jacket. So I'll have to change out soon. Okay. All right, this is a backstage look at the whiskey. If you're on the second floor, you enter the door, go up these stairs to what I guess would be the third floor. That uh, space ahead is offices. To the left is a very colorful bathroom. On the right of that, the lights are out right now, would be a dressing room for some supporting acts. On the left, right as we enter, is where the headlining bands Get ready for their shows at the world famous whiskey a go go so we're taking a look around it always looks a little different it looks a little uh like maybe there's some new furniture since the last time i looked my favorite thing is the vhs tapes and of course a vcr you don't see this very often i don't know how many bands actually stop and watch the uh the vhs tapes but there's some good ones in there if you're looking carefully uh there's some real classics so I don't think people, uh, many people realize that you can still uh, watch VHS in the dressing room at the Whiskey. There's all kinds of bands on the walls there, legendary people who played there. Now we're looking out the window, up the hill, right on the right there, that's Clark Street. The famous Motley Crue house is uh, right up there. And then if you go across the dressing room out to the other window, you're looking down on Sunset, Sunset Boulevard, right over the famous whiskey. You can't come to the whiskey without uh, thinking they're talking about Jim Morrison. When I first played here, uh, it was a big honor, and I remember looking around, and you could feel the spirits of all the bands that played here before, some of my favorite bands, the Ramones, the Heartbreakers. When my band, Cincy Rejects, played the whiskey, that uh, was the anniversary of 20-something years of Johnny Thunders playing. They would play Chinese Rocks on that stage, which was uh, definitely a cool, um, honor. But anyway, when I think, when I come here, I think of uh, Jim Morrison. I mean, of course, Motley Crue, Van Halen, these type of bands, Rat, we're here with Stephen Pearson, I can't think about the early days of, uh, cannot think about the early days of Rat. But anyway, sitting right here in this historic room where Jim Morrison was so many times, I'm going to tell a story and I'll probably butcher it, but the doors were the house band here. And they were supposed to play three nights uh, at a time. They were the house band and they would go on before the national support. And so there was one night, they would play three sets a night. There was one night that Jim Morrison uh, did not show up for uh, the first set. And they just sort of played without him, did a little instrumental, maybe Ray sang. And the, the owner of the whiskey at the time said, you tell Morrison, get his ass here right now. I'm paying for four people, not three. And they went out, they found him. He used to stay at a motel in the street. But also, uh, he was, there was a bar uh, right up the street that he would be drinking at. They found him. They told him, you've got to come here or we're not going to get paid. Or he comes back second set. He's probably liquored up. Who knows? And anyway, he decides that he wants to play um, The End. And they said, well, The End is the song we would close with. No 
I want to open with the end. And he does the famous uh, part where he talks about uh, walking up the stairs and uh, father, I want to kill you. And then of course, mother, I want to fuck you. And uh, a lot of times he might uh, kind of fudge that on the record, kind of a, you can't tell what he says necessarily. But he does it here at the whiskey. He says it full on out, mother, I want to fuck you. The owner says, this is insane. After the set, he says, there's no way we're going to have that kind of language here. At that point, maybe the place was a little classier. Go more dancers. Anyway, he says, there's no way that's going to fly. You guys are fired. And he told the band, tell more so you guys are out. And uh, one of the guys, I think it might have been Robbie or Ray, they, they said, well, we're supposed to be contracted here until Sunday. So are we fired now? Uh, because then what would you do for the rest of the next two nights? And the owner said, well, that's a good point. On Sunday night, you're fired. And they finished out their run as the house band here at the doors. They obviously went on to uh, much uh, bigger success, becoming one of the biggest bands of all time. As we were driving here from the airport, we passed the house on Love Street and the uh, market where the creatures meet. And anyway, so there's, it's, it's impossible to be here in the dressing room of the Whiskey A Go Go and not talk about uh, Jim Morrison and the doors. Right, this is Soundcheck, Eric Ferentinos, Chris Hager, Jerry Montano, and Scott Coogan all up on that stage getting ready for the show. All right, you exit the whiskey and you head up to the right. You're going to pass the famous Roxy. And if you keep walking, you are going to find uh, the Rainbow Bar and Grill. And it does look a little different right now. Uh, during pandemic times, they put this outdoor seating up there. Uh, anyway, so we take a look at the left to the patio and you see that they have what's now called Lemmy's Lounge. And if you go even further down, you see the famous bar that uh, Lemmy spent many countless hours, many nights. If he wasn't on the road, you knew he'd be at the end of the bar there playing the uh, trivia game. He loved that game. And uh, there's the statue of Lemmy himself right uh, next to where he played, right on the stool where the guy's sitting, actually. Uh, was Lemmy's spot. Okay, so now you walk out here, Up in Smoke, look at that. That is the location from the movie Up in Smoke. Lou Adler, who owned the Roxy, also managed Cheech and Tong and directed that movie. So that spot right there uh, was seen in that movie. Okay, here we are heading up the hill to the Rainbow Airbnb. So, I, I guess we found out that the Rainbow has a Airbnb called Over the Strip. And it is this uh, house right behind us. It's got two floors, separate units, separate keys. And so uh, I had the bottom floor right behind us. And then Stephen, he had the master penthouse upstairs. And uh, you know what, it was great. It was a great deal, it was super convenient. Uh, this is where I'm gonna stay from now on. It's, uh, it was really cool, and the rainbow will actually deliver your food right up to you. Uh, me personally, I, I like walking down and doing it myself. There's so much history as you come up the hill here. It seems from Cheech and Chong up the smoke where they play uh, the Roxy Battle of the Bands. That uh, alleyway, when they go into the stage door, that is now uh, the dining area for the rainbow. Okay, and back to Cheech and Chong up in smoke. That door there, the second door next to Lemmy and the Slash picture, is the actual dressing room door that was used in the movie. And here is a scene from the movie. Wow, look at that. How beautiful. Got to take that poster down, switch that with a better, better band. Sometimes taste is not always the strongest point, but it looks pretty damn good. Nice television set. Michelle, what do you think? New proof? Pretty strange uh, thing, huh? Who would have thought they had such a thing? What's the chance this guitar is in tune? None. <laughs> Some records here. All right. Is that where the magic happens? There's fucking Sarah and Jerry in here. Wow. There's an upcharge for that? Definitely <laughs> not for this guy. I wonder if Stephen has that in his room. 
Oh, Ooh, a lot of shitty bands got posters. Oh, look at this. A lot of awful... It's a name we don't say. Final Here we go. This is a nice, nice bedroom. Before the show, so dinner at the Rainbow. If you're going to play uh, whiskey, you have to have dinner at the Rainbow. Isn't that right, Michelle? Michelle, you used to work at the Rainbow. Yeah. And I've spent a lot of time here as well. So if you've never been to the Rainbow Bar and Grill, quick view. It's just as exciting as it looks, and this is a good moment to talk because there's no music that is copyrighted, although that's about to change. Anyway, Stephen Pierce is having a large pepperoni pizza, and then we're going to have dinner. And then in just a little bit, um, we're going to see the, uh, the whiskey. Showtime's 11.30. It's about 8 right now. All right, I better go because this song sounds like it's copyrighted. It's like 2.30 in the morning. Jason, we should have started this way earlier. We're Look who's here. We're, we're stuck on a cliff. Me and Johnny Monaco and Michelle. Michelle, you back there? Yeah. You don't have good lighting, apologize. Uh, stuck on a cliff. This is the rain. This is the rainbow over the sunset strip. Airbnb, is. there's the rain. Oh, hold on. This yeah. is, I gotta get this down. Those, there's the rainbow. There are some whores blocking our entrance. I don't think you're allowed to call uh, them whores. I think Sorry, to... there are some girls blocking your entrance. Uh, b b bitches. Uh, but so now we have to go back to the whiskey. I almost drove off. The I don't know how you got roped into this, but we're going to go. Because you the... asked me and we almost drove off the cliff. We're going to get the merchandise and we're going to bring it back to Stephen Piercy right now. It's a good thing this is front wheel Stephen is out the window yelling at us. He's something about setting up the pears in a bag of apples. All he told me was go back there and get the merchandise. And if anyone gives you any trouble, use this. <laughs> he's te he's texting me. We better get out of here. Is he texting you now? Yeah, a little yeah. scary. <laughs> Wait, is right? Yeah. Why not? There's Lemmy. Oh, this is Oh, there's the rainbow. Yeah, you don't drive through it. And then you go up Clark Street. See, That's, lawyers know everything. You go up Clark Street. You know Clark is where the Molly Crew house was. You know that? I do know that. Yeah. And then Belushi died up there too, right? Up he died at the Chateau down. Marmont. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Look at this guy. This car's got so much torque. We could do this. Bruce Kula got shot outside the, the rainbow. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I mean, I do, I do know that. I mean, who would think gangbangers would make a hit on Bruce Kulik? Shouldn't you be going back to Chicago? Almost. Get those symbols. <laughs> Is that a cop? Uh, yes, maybe. Don't scream that. <laughs> California, they, they... I thought you were leaving! Yeah, there's a security guard. Dale Rodney King, let's go up here. Rodney King? That's what they do in LA. Fuck. Yeah, I'm like, I'm fucking <laughs> here. You're going in here? Yeah, I got a call. This is some bullshit. Oh, right there. there. Is that right there? The Motley Crew House, right there. I know. Right about that. People at home don't know about it. There he is, right there. Editor of Metal Edge Magazine, right there. That's right. Right there. You see stars just on the corner. And there's Scott Coogan. Right there, Scott I Coogan. Thought, I thought you were going home. Get your symbols. Get your. Go around, jack off. Scott Coogan has a personal driver. Did you see that? He had a personal. He had a valet. I did see that. Personal driving merch, Stephen Piercy merch. Now, last time we had an issue, so I'm gonna take a wider cut mm -hmm. and see if that 
fixes that. Mm -hmm. Right, Michelle? Oh, fuck. oh shit, you're gonna have a flat too? What the fuck? This man. place kills cars. Sorry, guys, it's a rental, don't worry about it. I got insurance. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Oh my god, this is the closest thing here. Look at that, look at that fruit. The closest thing here would be a jack in the box or, or, or there's a famous. Turner's when you see something that looks like a place Central. that would have like a you know a couple of snacks and some water, mm -hmm. oh, fancy or is Johnny Monaco? They were not. They were no. They were. They thought it was. I can tell. Is it is a Chrysler 300? They thought you were Petey, the dog was, from the Little Rascals. They thought it was a rapper. Oh, right. Like, look at us uh, in Hollywood. This is a, we're, we're sellouts. Look at us, Hollywood sellouts, driving right around. Chin chin. I went there yesterday. Yeah, how was it? Two hundred dollars. I'm guessing that's Asian. Was. Look yeah. at Mel's. This is a very famous place you would like to eat. Very important. Look at the line. Yeah, I wouldn't go there. Um, I guess when we come to the coconut teaser. Where's the coconut teaser? It used to be up here on the left, right? I don't know. I'm from New York. I know CBG teas. The Zeros play there. You're a punk guy. The Zeros. You and I could do like a buddy cop movie. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? A what? Like a buddy cop movie. Like, uh, you know, like uh, Lethal uh, Weapon yes, or something. Yes, yes. I just don't know which one always plays the neurotic guy. <laughs> steroids. Look at the body shop. Look at the body. Look at the we should go there and get dances. That is a water bar, by the way. What? They don't sell alcohol. Dude, that means they show pussy then. Ew. Oh, the Vagina? Sorry. Cunt? No. I don't know what words you like. I'm, listen, I'm not used to hanging out with I you. I prefer gash. All right. Well, you're classy. <laughs> or slim. <laughs> Oh, here it is. This is where John Whoa. Belushi died. That's right. Right there. Chateau Marmont. Unfortunate. Very sad. He was a funny guy. Um, well, Trader Joe's. Is Trader there. Joe's won't be open at this ungodly hour. Nothing's going to be open down here. Johnny Monaco, I get so many people who say they love you. Are you shocked at how many people love you? Well, you know. If you had this love when you were growing up, you wouldn't be as you know neurotic you as you are. You might just be being nice. The seventh fail. But they don't like anybody. That's in their song. Yeah, this is a, a look at this. All we're going to all idiots. the Motley Crew location. Idiots. Ooh, the seventh fail are the idiots. Look at these drivers. Get your shit together. Monica, you're like the uh, look at that. Like, There's no reason for it. You're like the police. Here's Wendy's. Not the band was Sting, but I guess. don't you would you rather go to like a Wendy's than a seven eleven? Are you gonna have anything? Look at that fucking line. I just want to have... No, we don't, we'll go to 7-Eleven. I mean... Isn't there, right, isn't there one right here? Yeah, belt. Yeah, it's right at the belt. Uh, I heard you had some problems with the belt. I think I've been looking for a belt. Bro. It's on the right, Wait, right? why is the street closed off? Go. <laughs> We're going to get shot like Bruce Jordan. No, Jordan. you know how all the... Look at this guy. He's looking at me. Feather the brakes, Johnny. Feather the brakes. What are you doing back there? What is going on over the street? Yeah, Show, what look are you at doing? It. Look at all that. What are they doing? Oh, that doesn't look good. That's some LA shit right there. Oh, an accident? Here's the 7 Eleven right here. Right. This is a shady 7 Eleven. Oh, this is the worst. And that's, there's another one down there. Michelle, why there. do you fucking know this? Just everyone be careful. Because I live like a block that way. Aren't you supposed to be in college? I've been here before. This is. This is I think there's oh no. I think this is a no whites. This is a <laughs> fucked up 7-Eleven. Yeah, just everyone... Wait with the bird. I gave Piercy the brass knuckles back. Did you? That was fun, Johnny. I can't believe you didn't come in with us. What a bunch of losers. This guy's had his brakes on the entire time. Look at that girl's dress. Johnny, if you Michelle, you should get one of those. Johnny, yeah. if, you, if you were into um, how they say, I mean, try to be politically correct, if you went to Tap and Black Ass, that 7 Eleven is the place to be. I've had enough of this fucking place. All right? Seven? I they, sat out here enough to know. Some of them were not women, though. I, I mean, I think. I, have, I, I strongly suspect that some women. of those were um, really? tra tran transgender. We do have the same hips. This guy, what was Bryce on? Look at don't yell at him, though. They, they will shoot for us. Look at those two. We played the. We just played the Hunger Games. The longer you stay in that 7-Eleven, the better chance you have to die. Bright sun, stupid ass. Johnny, Jesus, fuck that guy. This car's way faster than that. Mm -hmm. They could, they don't even know how to get out of the. I hope it's faster than a speed. There's something bullet. wrong with their brains. Look at this parking. Look at this. Look at this. What is happening in L.A.? I've had so much enough of. 
I've been here 24 hours. Roll them up. Oh, okay. now we're gonna get them. No, we're not. He, oh, Johnny, they don't. Uh, they're not looking for me. Well, they like got this guy's lights off. He's coasting. They got a quota. Johnny, I want to show you the the Airbnb. You should you should at least see the tour no, before no. you go back. Where are you staying? Probably in Beverly to, Hills, right? I'm in. <laughs> I'm in Glendale, which is it's very swanky, but it's far. I got to drive all the way over there still. All right. Well, you don't mind taking me back home. Look at they still got the street blocked off. What a bunch of losers. Johnny, I think you might be a little angry. And now look at this guy. No directional. Oh, he's a cop. It's a cop. Yeah, so what? Still need to put directionals. Yeah, speed up. Great. In my lane. Loser. That's some driving. That's 50 cents. Look at this guy. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> Kanye. Are crazy out here. I think he's just called Ye now. Did you know Kanye is just called Ye? That's stupid. Oh, no shit. He's trying to kill Pete Davidson. <laughs> That's right, he's looking for Pete Davidson. And if he sees us, he might just kill the first white person he sees. Hello. Oh. What are we doing, John? Are we on the street still? Wait, what's this guy telling me? Oh, shit. Are we in trouble? <laughs> why, why is he so fucked up? You smell that? You smell burning tires. You smell that? Oh, shit. Is that good? I don't drive. Is that good? Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay. This is ridiculous. This is the uh, Airbnb for the rainbow. <laughs> oh, look at this. So oh. he's telling me I gotta go. But there's what? What? There's not. There's a secret technique for this. He was basically saying go like, like this. He's telling me go fuck yourself. Oh, Jesus, this is not safe. This is about the Manson family would do this. How did you do it before? This is so I thought you were going to give me driving lessons. It's not even snowing. All right, hold on. I know, right? <laughs> you don't want driving lessons from me. I can't even get up at all. I can't believe this. Oh, shit. All right, so Look at that. You're going to hit it. Maybe if There's I go, cage if match I go back this there. way. There you go. Unbelievable. How, could it, how did it work before? Why is this such an issue? What the fuck? Well, he didn't do it. Well, what, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Why are you fighting? You tell me. Why are you yelling at him? Because he's looking at me, and I'm and he's... But you did this three times. I mean, I can get out and walk. No. Why Why is that such an issue? What's, what's going on? What? Just say thank you. Where do you think people sleep? I don't know. What are we, animals? How much is this? I, I don't know. You want to quote the rate? <laughs> I mean, I want to know because I'm paying seven fifty a night. Okay, hold on. Let so me... listen, I think the only problem with this Airbnb is that they decorate the place with shit. Did you play that show? I bet you did. Um, no, I didn't. I think you did. There should only be stuff up here like the doors, Van Halen, Motley Crue. So look, Johnny Monaco, it comes with a microwave. It sure does. It has a Keurig. Yes. We, ha we have our own shift. ice machine. Michelle, close the door so Stephen doesn't hear us. Shift. It, has a, it has an ice machine down the stairs. So they they we, rent this out? And look, and then they have all, you can watch all the TV you want. Look at Rat. Look at that. You were here with him. Yeah. In this one. Did you bring these, or does this come with a place? It comes with a place. Come on. These are hers. Oh hers are below. I can't even save that on my channel. And then look, look, look at this. Look, look at this. this is a good one. Oh, boy. I mean, why wouldn't they put up, like, the doors? That's fine. I mean, is this a Tempur-Pedic? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't think it is. Girls like you. Look at this TV they have right here. And there's a white powdery substance right there next to the remote. You see it? That's not true. Those are stains. From like 
Cocaine Pass? I don't know, maybe. Skid Row? Maybe. That's an air conditioning unit? Or That's or the air conditioning, a remote control for it. Most people I've heard do not know how to use it. I mean, I'm okay with this place. How much is it? Look at this, look at this. Look at Bill. Look at that old toupee wear. And there's the Tammy. He's not gonna like this. He's gonna say this is evil. New Year's Eve main event. Hometown showdown. Oh, they're competing? <laughs> yeah. Live on the I got news for you. Somebody's going 2016. Lose. Okay. Do you think they charge you if you steal these? They should give us a fucking they bonus. Show. He even has the palatial upstairs, which is considered the penthouse. He has two bedrooms and it sleeps six. He also has a pullout How much? sofa. Cheap. I'm not going to say it on the air. I mean, is it less than 300? Yes. Right. But he, he's multi platinum. They give him a deal. No, I mean, because it's Super Bowl weekend, and the room's in this town right now. All right, hold on. And no trip to Hollywood is complete without visiting the Funko shop. So let's take a look around. Well, that's going to conclude another trip as I pay my respects to Amelia Earhart at the Hollywood Burbank Airport. I think it used to be called Bob Hope Airport. I should probably go back to that. Anyway, this is the uh, walk to the plane, and I hope you guys enjoyed some of this, and uh, stay tuned because there will be more coming very soon. <laughs>